Let me show you how I created this GIF. At first I went to Midjourney and I used ancient Greek art as a style. You can specify that by using beautiful woman dancing, something like this. I was just lucky by typing in ancient Greek art, finding something. You can also add Aphrodite or something. But here ancient Greek art gave me such a woman at some point. Then I picked one of these. So these are the basic generations that I got. And then I upscaled one of them. Let's just say I picked number one. Let me show you two examples. And you know what, I also upscale this one that I've generated here. Ancient Greek art, beautiful woman dancing, number three. And I'll go over the process here once more. What you want to do is to use very subtle. You can also use strong. If you like that style, I'm going to show you afterwards what that looks like. But I don't like it. I like the subtle version, so I use that for my GIF. And here is already our dancing woman. And you can see the variations are very small, but there are some. Especially hands and feet, and even the dress is moving slightly. There are some differences in clothing. But in the animation it doesn't really show. Here's our ancient Greek woman. You can see that the hand changes a little bit. When you've done that you want to upscale all of them. Or at least all of the ones that you like. And where there are no issues. You want to have at least 10. So you may have to vary it once more. And then upscale what you've got there as well. Once you've got all of your photos just go to your Midjourney Profile Home and then download all of them. You can just do so here. Once you've done that, switch to your video editor. I've used Premiere Pro and I've already copied all of them right here. Let me just show you this the first one. Here's the second one just for comparison. And there's certainly a change, but when you have it in rapid succession with 10 different or even 20 different frames, it's not a huge issue. It actually adds to the style. Let me add all 10 here. And even if I move the slider like this, you can see it kind of fits, even though there are huge differences. Now select it all right click, speed and duration, and I set it to five frames. By default, it's five seconds, so make that zero. And I go to the last digit, make it five. That means that we have a duration of five frames, confirm. Then go to sequence and close the gap. And now let me just roll it. And it kind of works. Jump back to this position. You can see that it doesn't really fit the frame. It's because of mid-journey when you upscale something, it's not perfectly, when you have 16 by 9, it's not perfectly 1600 times 900. So you have to right click on it, scale to frame size, and now it fits your frame. If you want to make it longer, add more of these image generations or just copy this group holding alt, place it at the end, and it's good. You want to add music, obviously, use, for example, YouTube's audio library or whatever royalty-free music you want to use. Use the Cut Tool C to cut your music. In my case, I had a still frame, something like this, and only when the beat drops, I've added the other ones to have this animation kind of effect. So let me recomposition is like so. Then I've selected the top, so all of my video clips, right click and I've nested it. Let me call this tutorial nest. I confirm and now I can add, for example, a cross dissolve for in and outro. Same for the music and this is already it. Let me mute the music part right here and I'll show you Here is this ancient Greek art with a subtle variation. 
This is what I finally used for the GIF. And here it is with a strong variation. And I think that the strong variation has created too much variation in between the images. You can see that right here. It doesn't look anymore like it's the same woman dancing or something. So once again, this one was strong and here is the subtle variation way better. So you definitely want to stick to that if you want to have the same effect that I've created. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.